Hey, what's up? I'm Coach Ryan Finley today here in the Viper Pit. I want to talk to you a little bit today about rows and how the resistance profile of rows dictates that you need to be able to train multiple types and multiple ranges of motion in the row. So very briefly, I won't get into too much physics and biomechanics, but in every single rowing motion you do in the gym, you are going to be strongest in the fully stretched position. And as you row the implement closer to your body, you're going to be weaker, okay? The hardest position of a row is with the scapula fully retracted and the shoulder fully extended. That is the weakest biomechanical position of a row. So what does that mean? What that means is inevitably, how you train your rows, you're gonna be shorting one of the two ranges of motion. If you use a weight that's heavy enough to tax that big early stretch portion of the row, you're not going to be able to be strong enough to get into a fully short and fully contracted position. Therefore, your scapular retractors like the rhomboids, uh, the posterior deltoid, and even the lats are not going to get targeted to the utmost extent. On the flip side, if you use a weight that's so light that you can properly get into that fully retracted position, that means the fully stretched position is not going to get any love. Okay, You're going to be leaving gains on the table. So what's the practical way to do this? I utilize two different types of rows, okay? I have certain rowing movements that I really emphasize the stretch position or really the first two thirds of the range of motion. And then I have movements where I really emphasize that hard retracted position where my hand is close to my torso, my elbow might be behind my body and my shoulder blade, my shoulder is fully pulled back. As a general rule, the heavier type rows are the ones that most people tend to do heavy anyway. The one-arm dumbbell rows, the bent-over barbell rows, the one-arm rows on a landmine. Those tend to be ones that I will work heavier and work more of the fully stretched position. Anything chest-supported that really locks in my thorax, I will tend to favor going lighter and working on more end range or more scapular retraction. Uh, so one of my favorite rows is a basic face-down uh, row, chest supported row on a bench. Now your, your arms are going to hit the floor, so there's really no sense overloading the stretch position anyway. You're just going to hold a weight and pull the shoulders back as hard as you can with a light weight. Now we always want to be getting stronger because progressive overload is the name of the game when it comes to strength and hypertrophy. But when I look at my two categories of rows, the heavier rows, the more stretch position rows, I tend to favor going for goals in load, whereas the chest supported variations are the one where I'm working hard in retraction, I go more for feel. I want to feel the muscles in my upper back in between my shoulder blades firing hard and contracting and cramping. If I don't get that sensation, it probably means the weight's too heavy for me to actively get in that correct posture, if that makes sense. So start to implement this into your training. Have some of your rows where you go heavy and you're chasing poundage in a more stretched position and other rows where you train much, much, much lighter, um, where you're really focusing on feel. Just to give you an idea of the discrepancy in poundages, I will often use between 150 to 180 pound dumbbell for one arm rows for sets of 15 to 20. And I will use 30 to 40 pound dumbbells or kettlebells for my short position contracted row. So a big, big, big difference in load there, all right? And there should be because of the biomechanical, um, just the breakdown of the pattern of the row, how you are, how you're strong, the lever system, and the physics and biomechanics of it dictate that it's gonna be that way. There should be a big discrepancy between what you can row in a fully stretched position to what you can get back in a fully retracted position. Don't be afraid to train both. Don't be afraid to do them properly. I'm Coach Ryan Family from the Viper Pit. If you like this video, please hit subscribe below. Tell all your friends, tell your family. Heck, I don't care if your grandma signs up to my channel. I would love it. What's up, Granny? How you doing? All right, talk to you next time. We'll see you. Thanks.